If you've lived in Middle Tennessee very long, you've heard about the Vinny. Country star Vince Gill's celebrity charity golf tournament held every year in Williamson County. But maybe you haven't heard about the mission that supports one of preserving Tennessee's golf history and sharing the life enhancing values of the sport across the state. Back in the early 1800s, this mansion near Franklin was a plantation home. Today it's home to Golf House Tennessee. So what's Golf House Tennessee? Well, you could say it's the epicenter of golf in the whole volunteer state. A place that promotes the values of the sport and shares Tennessee's rich golf history. You can see it for free. The museum inside is small but well appointed with rare photographs and eye-catching artifacts that celebrate golf greats like Dr. Kerry Middlecoff a Tennessean who was winner of 40 PGA tournaments, including the Masters and U.S. Open. Also, Lou Graham, who won the Open in 1975. Across the hall is the Distinguished Service Room, honoring other milestones of the sport, including those of men's and women's mid-amateur champions. This is also home of all Tennessee golf governing bodies, including the Tennessee Golf Foundation. Since 1991, Dick Horton has served as president. If you like golf or want to learn more about it, this is a great place to come and spend a couple of hours or a couple of days. The Tennessee Golf Foundation's main mission is simple, changing young lives through the game of golf. The Tennessee Golf Foundation was established in 1990, soon to be bolstered by a major annual fundraiser a pro-celebrity invitational event known simply as the Vinny. Named after its golf-loving co-founder, country music star Vince Gill. It's been a pretty good run, hasn't it, pal? It all started with a conversation between Vince and fellow Tennessee Golf Hall of Famer Joe Taggart. You know, I played in so many different events, I thought it'd be fun if I ever you know, hit a lick in the music world, it'd be fun to try to have a tournament of some sort. First year it turned out to be an $88,000 profit and we thought, boy, that is, that is just great. And now 21 years later, it's 6.1 million that we've raised. The Tennessee Golf Foundation is all about promoting golf and its life enhancing values with an emphasis on teaching youth and the disadvantaged. It definitely teaches you a lot of life skills, uh, responsibility and sportsmanship, a lot of life skills that they can do after um, golf as well, as they can do throughout their entire lives. Now that we slide closer to the target and lean toward... About 2,000 kids from ages 4 to 17 get to learn and develop their game here each year. Throughout its history, golf has been a competitive sport. And the foundation is very much about providing affordable, competitive events for young people. Naturally, the younger you start, the better. But affordable lessons are available to anyone at any age. There we go. And instructor Sarah Hunt says it's never too late to learn and enjoy the game. You can start young, you can start um, when you're older. It's, it's, a, it's a great game to start with and you can always go out and have fun. The First Tee is a youth program at satellite locations like the Vinnie Lynx at Shelby Park in Nashville. It's all thanks to a special partnership between the TGF and the city park system. In addition to learning the game and having fun, the Tennessee Golf Foundation's nine core values are woven into the experience. Cal Harris was about 12 years old when he started coming to First Tee he got the coaching and confidence he needed to become a first-rate golfer. But maybe more importantly, he found the personal support he needed to survive some tough times as a teenager. They've been through there through my life, my school, any emotional trouble, physical trouble, they've always been there for me with that, whatever it is. Kyle now teaches young golfers in the First Tee program. He's earned a golf scholarship from the PGA Junior Golf Academy and he'll play for Fisk University's golf team. I probably wouldn't be where I am right now at all, at all. I have to give you, I have to give the first tee everything to change my life. You see firsthand how, how, how this game made a difference in somebody's life and a positive difference.
with 28 uh, nationalities at my school, um, the golf unit is universal for fun. The Tennessee Golf Foundation now has regional directors around the state that emulate the work done here in Middle Tennessee. Growing and teaching the game at youth clinics and instilling an appreciation for the game that's such a big part of Tennessee sports history. In its short history, the Tennessee Golf Foundation has used golf to change countless young lives. You know, it's not just a game, it's also a game changer. And that's what you hope to accomplish, is, is just building great people. And playing golf, and it's just like, the opportunities that these kids are gonna have, it's just amazing.